Hello, my name is Michael Lee. I'm here today looking for £100,000 for 15% stake in my franchise company, Earls. Some 12 years ago, I launched a sandwich company, and part of that business today involves the retail of sandwiches, pies, hot food, crisps and pop to people in their workplaces. The small problem with this business is the vehicle only runs for so many hours in the day, normally from sort of 8 in the morning till um, 1, 1 30 in the afternoon. So I've looked for a concept where we can keep the vehicle out for longer. So we've added an ice cream machine. This has been perfected by Jiffy Trucks by use of an inverter which runs from the engine and makes it work when the vehicle's running. I'd like to um, ask the Dragons if they'd like to come and have a look at the vehicle, maybe try a little bit of ice cream and then take any questions later. Thank you. The Dragons are quick to accept Michael Lee's invitation. Can I have a 99, please, with a flake? But it's their £100,000 he really wants to set up a new franchise operation, selling his remodelled hot and cold food vans. Michael is offering them a 15% stake. It's familiar ground for former ice cream seller Duncan Bannatyne. Uh, thank you, Michael. Uh, good presentation. It sounds like you've taken a sandwich van and you've added an ice cream machine to it, is that right? Correct, yes. And what you've added is what we know in the trade as a single-head cappuccino machine. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Pump-fed cappuccino machine, single-head, gives you more profit per ice cream than any other machine in the world. So it's very important. So, I mean, have you just recently added an ice cream machine to your, your vans? Yeah. What we found when we trialled the vehicle last year, um, we're doing offices, factories, etc. Uh, people have said, could you call back this afternoon at the office? It's a nice day. We'll have an ice cream. So we've got sort of two bites at the cherry. Simple as that. So how long have you had the business? Um, my business has started 12 years ago. This business I launched last October, formed a new company. You have to explain the difference between my business and this business. This is a franchise company. What we're doing is selling this product to potential franchisees in the UK and Ireland. Um, so it gives um, somebody a, a chance to basically make money, to buy a franchise from us. So why not keep it as one business? Why separate it? Um, I wanted to, to keep this as a, a, as a separate venture, really. It's a solid start for Michael, but something seems to have touched a nerve with Peter Jones. I don't get it, and I want to get into the bottom of this issue about the company. You've got an existing business for 12 years. Yep. What's going wrong with that business, or what's going right with that business? Nothing. The business is, is, is sound. And how much money does it make? Um, 100, 100 odd thousand. Do you actually think that we're stupid? No, I don't think you're stupid. But so I think why not you... include your business in the pitch? Um, why, not, why, why are you trying to de-risk it by putting all the risk over to me as an investor? No, I think I've risked quite a lot with this already with the amount of money I've put into the company. How much is that? I should say about £160,000 to date. Under pressure from Peter Jones, Michael manages to remain calm. But how will he fare under the scrutiny of James Kahn? I owned a business that did exactly this. I know. And the franchise model is fraught with difficulty because a number of the vans come off the road because when it's too cold, the, there's a the problem. Van, the van you had, the van that company didn't work. I saw the van. Yeah. I looked at it within five minutes. I thought, I couldn't make money with that vehicle. Yeah. I mean, all I would say to you, Mike, you know, having been there myself and done it, um, and I did lose a lot of money in the process. <laughs> right, uh, yeah. um, you know, it is not as easy as you think. And I think that when you're making claims to people we're, and they're about to put their life savings yeah. into your model... We, we actually bring them to, to the factoring crew, train them as to how we did the business, actually... Mike, I them. did all that. I, I mean, know that's you a have, standard yeah. model, so, I mean... But that, your van didn't work. No, what I'm saying is the principle. I'm talking about the principle. Your model didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> rubbish. And I, I take it his model's amazing. 100 grand after 12 years, 
you know, if I'm a franchisee, that doesn't inspire me with confidence no, no, either. No, 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 no. I, I, I believe that uh, they'll do well using this, this vehicle. Well, I think you're wrong. I really well, do think you're wrong, we'll Mike. We'll wait and see. <laughs> and for those reasons, Mike... Thank you. I'm out. The steadfast entrepreneur has been taken to task by James Kahn, who walks away from the deal. Will Deborah Meaden agree with her rival dragon? The bit that I think makes this complete nonsense is £100,000 for 15%. OK. Now, that doesn't stop it, because in the den, we're quite capable of sitting here and saying, well, thanks, that's what you want, mm. but this is the offer that we're going to make. Mm. But for that, you've got to have something unique. Um, well, I've never seen a vehicle like this before that can sell sandwiches, hot food... But pies. I could do that, couldn't I? Have you got... You've got about 30 seconds now to come up with something really unique. What you see, really, with me and my experience, and this idea is basically what you get. I think you understand. I think I you're, getting, you're getting why I'm about to say oh, what yeah, I'm yeah. going so to I say. I know exactly, you. exactly <laughs> what you're going to say. <laughs> so I'm afraid... For I'm that out. reason, I'm at, yeah. No. Right, let me tell you where I am. I've got to tell you this, because yeah. I can't see it anymore. You've come here and insulted my intelligence. You've okay. offered me something with no USP whatsoever. You've asked me for a ridiculous amount of money. I would rather stick my head in the ice cream machine. I'm out. OK, thank you. Two more dragons out, and Michael's investment hopes are fading. But Duncan Bannatyne knows this sector well. Will he throw the struggling entrepreneur the £100,000 lifeline he badly needs? Looking at this from what people call outside the box... Yep. Right? You said you've never seen a vehicle like that. But in actual fact, if you look at it from outside the box, you've seen hundreds of vehicles like that, and we all have. OK? Mm. They're called ice cream vans. They're exactly like that, only better, because this is what happens. An ice cream van has got a capajani in it, and it's got a freezer in it, and it's got shells. Mm. So all the ice cream man has to do to compete with you, if you compete with him, is make some sandwiches, put them on the shelves. It's got exactly the same vehicle you've got, mm. only it's better because it doesn't have to get out of the vehicle to serve the customer. It serves the customer from inside the vehicle. So I, I, I can't think of any reason that MD would want to buy one of these vans either in a franchise or in a straight purchase when okay. you could buy an ice cream van. So for that reason, I'm out. OK. It's a massive blow for Michael. Now, Peter Jones is all that stands between him and expulsion from the den. Mike, um, what you're offering, do you get it that it's not attractive financially I for an investor? Guess Just it be for straight. The, uh, for an investor now, I, yes, I can okay. see the limitations. Would you include your business in the whole mix rather than separating this out as a separate business? Well, it could be. It could be, could be done like that. But do you not think that that would be more attractive to an investor? Possibly so, If yes. I'm investing £100,000, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm investing in a business that's making, in your yeah, words yeah, yeah. at the moment, more than £100,000 net profit. Yeah, yeah. That actually makes it now quite an attractive offer. So I would offer you the full amount of £100,000 for 35% of your entire business. Have a think about this. Yeah, you can go to the back if you want. It's an extraordinary twist. Peter Jones has spotted an investment opportunity where his rivals have not. But will Michael be prepared to sell a 35% stake in both his businesses? It's quite a difficult uh, one to sort out. You wouldn't look to come down any on that, would you? No, Mike, no I, I didn't wouldn't. think you would do so now. I think I'd go for the deal. We'll see how this runs. Because I think you could take this quite a long way. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'd... Accepting uh, it? Yeah, I think I'll go for that. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> a nimble move from Peter Jones and Michael leaves the den with the cash injection he needs. There's a benefit for going last, guys. 
A lesson in the den.